Good morning, everyone. The first debtor in today's gospel symbolizes our own situation. We owe God so much that we can never hope to pay the debt. We can't hope to pay him back. He has created us. He has given us our very life. He has made us sons and daughters of the church in which we have the blessing of receiving the sacraments, especially the Blessed Sacrament, the Holy Eucharist. We are in his debt for his supernatural benefits too, for the incarnation, for the redemption, for our divine filiation, our being called to participate in his divine life here on earth and later in heaven with the glorification of body and soul. We owe God an immense debt, a, ditch, a debt which we can never hope to repay in this life nor in the next. But we are his sons and daughters. And because of this, we can petition God with unlimited confidence because fathers do not remember the loans they've made to their children. They don't remember the little things that they've, they've given and expect payment back. That's not what fathers do because they've made these loans out of love for their little children. So draw strength from your divine filiation because God is a father, your father, our father, full of warmth and infinite love. Call to him frequently, call him father frequently. Tell him when you're alone that you love him, that you love him very much and that you feel proud and strong because you are his child. And what's more, even if by some odd chance God does expect payment, our older brother Jesus Christ has already paid the debt.